man, so it's not even the end of the third quarter yet of this Rockets Lakers game four. And I'm making this video. It's over. The series is over. Um, Houston can pack their bags and go home right now. There's absolutely no energy from the Rockets in this game. Um, that's a carryover from last game, you know. They didn't play with the energy in the second half like they needed to, especially the fourth quarter um, when Harden failed to take over. When Rondo did take over, um, we just seemed like we were out of sorts. We weren't focused. We weren't getting back. We weren't hustling at all, you know. And this entire game four, same exact thing, you know. We're not hustling to the ball. We're not getting back in transition, which plagued us for a lot of this year, you know, getting back in transition or lack thereof. Lakers, I'll give them their credit, man. They're doing an outstanding job of trapping Harden, making sure he doesn't go off, but making sure they're getting back to the shooters. They're closing out to PG Tucker in the corner. They're closing out to Rocco on the wing. These guys are scrambling back and they're not really fouling too much, you know. Harden and Westbrook got uh, a couple foul calls later in the in the second quarter. The Rockets are so predictable and they have been over the past, what, four, five, six years now, you know. Harden's been putting up his numbers, but it's it's been predictable for the most part, you know. And that's a huge reason why Houston never really gets out the Western Conference. They're so predictable, especially when it's in, in the tight late game, you know. Sometimes Harden will just go ahead and beat you, you know. He's that good offensively. But some nights when his legs aren't there or some nights when his shots aren't falling, it looks really, really bad out there for the Rockets. Me, watching the Rockets play the last four or five years up until Westbrook came, the Rockets were the boringest team to watch in the league for me. And I thought Russ was going to change that, you know, and he did for the most part. He did. But the thing is with Russ is that he's not the same anymore, man. Hate to say it, but Russell Westbrook is not the same anymore. I don't know if he's still dealing with the quad injury, but he's not as explosive as he used to be. He's not blowing by defenders like he used to be with ease. Um, he's not even dunking anymore, really. He's letting Danny Green and Marcus Morris blow by him on, on the other side of the ball. And it's just looking really bad, man. I'll give Russ some credit. He has found a rhythm the last couple games, but... I mean, it's too little too late now for me, um, and I think for the series, the Lakers have done an outstanding job of just using their length, using their size to their advantage. Dan Tony, I don't even know what to say anymore, man. He fails to make adjustments himself, you know. I talked about Mike Boonehoser the other day not making adjustments um, when they need to make adjustments, and, you know, Dan Tony is in that same boat, being hard-headed, never wanting to adjust his certain offense style of play. One thing I suggested for the Rockets was that they put Russell Westbrook in the post, try to get a switch off of Anthony Davis, um, allow Caruso, allow Rondo, allow Danny Green to be guarded to be guarding Westbrook and Westbrook take that guy to the post, you know, and do what he does. Eventually, the Lakers are going to double team that. So Russ, I mean, he's more than capable of finding the open man, you know. It's just a matter of if Russ is going to do it or not. I think Harden has the ability to be a great off-ball player. I mean, he was an OKC, but, you know, ever since he got to Houston, he forgot how to play off the ball because he's on the ball 24-7 pretty much. But Harden would be very, very effective cutting to the basket and Russ finding that guy. We're not giving Eric Gordon some good looks. He's just shooting contested three-pointers on the wing like Eric Gordon always does when he's not getting it going. Daniel House, obviously, he had that whole situation, bringing a female to the bubble and he's letting us down too um obviously we're not saying that daniel house would have been the guy you know what i mean to stop lebron or the guy to score 20 points in the game but he was another guy out there that can hit some shots bring some energy for us and he's he's six seven so he can grab some rebounds you know and he can somewhat somewhat try to slow down lebron you know just another body i'd rather have daniel house guarding lebron than Austin Rivers or Ben McLemore, who are given all those minutes to. What do the Rockets do here going forward um, as far as roster moves or coaching changes? I'm not too sure, man. Um, Daryl Morey has a big offseason ahead of him. This Harden Westbrook thing, maybe it can still work out. Maybe it may not. I'll make an in-depth Rockets video uh, here sooner rather than later. But right now, I just wanted to get this off of my chest, man. I don't think I don't think James Harden and Russell Westbrook will be able to win a championship with the ways they play. You know, James Harden's problem is that he tries to go ISO a little bit too much, and when they start trapping him, 
he passes the ball and whoever gets that ball next is probably going to shoot a three or just swing it to the corner and the Lakers at that point can or any team for that matter can just easily close out on him and the thing is once you double team Harden and he passes the ball out he doesn't really try to get back into the play and the other teams are basically playing five on four now because Harden's not cutting to the basket after that Harden's not relocating after that and I think that's another thing he could add to his game and for Russell Westbrook obviously it's the IQ man um for me it's not even the three-point shooting or like they're off three-point shooting for Russell Westbrook for me it's the IQ know when to shoot those threes or not know when to speed the game up or not you know and all Russ knows is 100 miles an hour and I understand that I've watched Russ for the previous nine ten years and I know Russ is not going to slow down not one bit but he's going to have to do that you know his athleticism is going to go down and it's already kind of declining as it is so Westbrook needs to know when to push the ball or not Westbrook needs to know what type of shots to take and the thing with Russ is he needs to slow down not because of his like off target passing at that time as we've seen um in the game six versus okc the passing was way off target um and that's a byproduct of him going too fast another byproduct of him going too fast is he misses point blank layups at times you know he he's too fast for his own good sometimes and his biggest strength is his biggest demise and it just sucks to see man being a westbrook fan and watching harden over the past six seven years do spectacular things both of those guys man first ballot hall of famers no doubt about it man two of the best players of this generation um those guys just i'm 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 100 percent confident those guys will not win a ring man um and i'll just have to live with that you know me being a diehard russell westbrook fan westbrook's probably my second favorite player in nba history but for for me to come up here and say that russell westbrook's gonna win a championship um, I would be lying to myself, so I just have to live with that, man. But the Rockets are disappointing, man. Another year sent home. <sighs> it sucks.